guys, Laura with Garden Answer. Tonight we are tackling a small landscape project at my in-laws house. Um, we are going to be taking the sod out of just this corner right here. This is the side of their house that doesn't get used very much. In fact, their trailer is just parked right behind the fence. Uh, but they still want their yard to be nice and they want to hide like the fire hydrant and the, there's a cable pedestal, electric box and something else right there. Um, so we are going to be removing the sod and adding a few plants in here. And tonight, since we only have a couple hours of sunlight left, if that, we're just going to start by taking out the sod. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of draw my line and you can use a, a hose or a rope. I'm gonna use this bright colored extension cord to kind of draw my line. There are paint guns you can use for this and I have one at work, but of course I didn't think of bringing it. Just use anything that's flexible. So once you have your guide all set up and you're ready to start lifting the sod, there are a few ways you can go about doing it. Um, you can rent a sod lifter, which for a project like this, this small, I don't really recommend because they're big machines and we have a lot of stuff to go around, so that wouldn't be ideal. You can spray it, but in that case, you're spraying a chemical and I really don't want to do that if I can help it. And you have to wait for it to die and remove it anyway. Um, or you can hire it out. But with a project this small, we can just do it ourselves. So I am going to be using a flat edge shovel. It doesn't have any curve, but you can use any shovel that you have. It's totally fine. This just makes the line a little bit more clean. And one more thing before I get started is the moisture level in your grass. You don't want it to be too soggy and wet. Otherwise, it's kind of obvious. It'll be a huge, muddy, heavy mess. And you don't want it to be too dry because then the grass breaks apart and it's really hard to roll up. So you just kind of want it in between. It's been raining like a few days ago it rained. So I think that the moisture level in this grass is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this end. And what I like to do is go the whole length of my guide and make my cuts. So just like that and kind of pry it up. Be careful not to cut your cord. I've done that before. I've had to throw away a couple cords. <laughs> All right, so now that I finished cutting right along the guideline, I'm gonna bump my shovel in about 10 to 12 inches, and I'm gonna make my cut all the way along the length of this again. I'll show you. Okay, so now that I've got both of my cuts made, I'm gonna go about every couple feet and make a cut this way, so that when I roll this side, because it gets so heavy, it'll come off just in little chunks. I'm just gonna keep going until I've got all the sod lifted. Okay, so I think that there is no way I'm gonna get this done by the time the light goes down, so I'm gonna go get Aaron and see if he will help me. Okay, all done. And I had to enlist Aaron's help because we started to lose light a lot faster than I thought. Um, so I'm super thankful to have an extra set of muscles. So we got it all up and now we just have to go take it all away. So I have to pick it up all one more time, <laughs> take it to the compost pile. And this work, you guys, is not for the faint of heart. Check it out. That's how I roll. That's why I always look like a mess in all of our videos. <laughs> We are really excited about next week. That's when we're gonna come out here and put some really pretty plants in and put some mulch down. I'm really excited for that part. That's the best part. Sod lifting, not so fun, but you know what? It's kind of like instant gratification because look at this. Yes. So if you took anything away from today, just know that you can do it yourself. Just take it slow into little chunks and you can get it done. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.